Lights, mic, camera, action. Welcome back Pod Squad. my name is Yana. I'm a third year podiatric medical student at CSPM and today we're continuing our series of exploring all nine podiatric medical schools. If you guys don't know about our series, basically it's inspired by prospective students who always ask us a bunch of questions about specific podiatric medical schools and we're not qualified to answer those questions because we go to CSPM. But we took it upon ourselves to gather up all those questions, ask specific students at different schools for them to answer your questions. And in today's series, we actually have Tiffany, who's a second year at Midwestern University in Arizona. She's a very lovely person, very nice, sweet, and very kind and passionate about this field. And without further ado, I present Tiffany. Take it away. Hello everyone, my name is Tiffany and I am a second year podiatry student at Midwestern University in Arizona. I wanted to first thank Yona and Diksha for giving me this opportunity to answer some common questions that prospective podiatry students may have just about the school and about their general living area. So first one is going to be what's the area like, things to do, eat, safety, and weather. I would say the area is very safe and quiet. I haven't had any um, complaints about that. Um, our campus is very safe as well. We have a security guard working 24 hours so after you're done studying late at night you can just give them a call and they can escort you to your car. There is also a security guard in front of campus so if you're driving by and he checks for your um, school sticker then he'll just let you pass but if you don't have one then he'll stop you and ask questions. There is lots of hiking places. There's also lakes that you can visit and I just really love the Red Rocks. And then we also have things to do because we live about 25 minutes from Phoenix so you can go explore downtown, go top golfing, um, look at museums, etc. How is the weather? Um, the weather is perfect year-round except for summers when it is scorching hot but people would just usually wake up earlier and do their morning run. We live in a suburb area so there is a variety of food. We have Asian, we have Mexican, Italian, Indian, etc. What is the living situation like? The living situation on campus is reasonable. I think a two bedroom is about 500 each, including utilities or some utilities. I currently live in a one story house with three other people and we pay about 530, not including utilities, but it seems like almost every Arizona house has a pool, so that's very convenient because it's really hot. And um, we also have plenty of apartment complexes off campus as well, and they're also walking distance about like two minutes. I live about five minutes from school driving. Number three, what sizes and what classes did you take your first year? So we fairly have a small class size, around 40 people. It's smaller than um, the other podiatry schools, but our program is integrated with the DL program. So when you're sitting in the auditorium, for a lecture, you'll have almost 240 students in there if everyone goes. Um, first year, you do not have a summer, and we're run on a quarterly system, so you'll have fall, winter, spring classes that we took were biochem, anatomical sciences, which included neuro, histology, embryology, and gross anatomy, pod med, pod surgery, ethics, physiology, immunology, and biomechanics one. Um, number four, do you have any research opportunities at your school and does your school have a research lab? Yes, we have plenty of research opportunities on school and if you have um, an idea, they can make it happen. The staff are very friendly. There are also research labs on campus. Number five, do you have clubs at your school and how active are they? We do have clubs on campus. Just to name a few podiatry related ones, we have um, journal club, Womb Healing Club, Women Podiatrists, Pediatrics Club, and Sports Medicine Club. Because of COVID, we haven't been able to gather, but the officers are still trying to be active. They would plan some Zoom meetings and then have guest speakers speak to us. Number six, do you have a gym and cafeteria located on the campus? Yes, they are located in the center of campus, so it's very convenient to walk to one another. People like to study in the cafeteria due to their spacious um, seating arrangements, and the gym is always clean. Some people study in there too. Um, seven, are there any academic support services for students? At Midwestern, we have an open door policy with the professors, so every time you have a question, you can just pop in, and if they're in there, they're always happy to help. And some professors would also go out of their way and email you if you need help or if everything's okay at home, etc. if your exam scores are low. Number eight, are there any counseling 
counseling service for students' mental health. Yes, we have um, the school offers free counseling services on campus. You just have to make an appointment. Number nine, most favorite part about your school. I really love how our school is interprofessional because I'll have friends from vet med, optometry, dental, occupational therapy, etc. And if I have a question about my teeth, eyes, or pets, then it's just easy to reach out to them and ask them. It's also awesome just to walk around campus seeing everyone studying and trying to reach their goal. And then if you need friends to practice OSCEs on, then they're always willing to help and we can just go in the lab and work on each other. Um, number 10, does the school have a special group to help spouses or family members for acclimating to medical school? I'm positive there are advisors, but I cannot fully answer this question from my own experience. So 11, does your school offer scholarships? Yes, our school does offer scholarships. Um, you apply for them and they are usually fairly easy to get. Um, number 12, do you need a car? Is there public transportation? I personally have my car because I drove it from home with all my stuff. There are public transportation offered in the city at a low cost. Um, people usually just bike around as well and since your friends live so close to you, you can also carpool. I know a lot of friends do that. Um, number 13, is there any jobs that students can take on as first years in the school such as peer tutors and no tutors? Yes, the school does offer TA jobs, um, tutoring jobs, and mail services jobs. I know a friend that um, lives on campus and works in the mail room, so they subtract $400 from her rent, so she pays about like $100. Um, how often are certain facilities open for students, labs, gym, etc.? I know the podiatry dissection lab and the gyms close at midnight. People People would usually just go in the podiatry lab because it's brand new. We have comfy chairs and they would just study in there and we also have a big whiteboard in there so they would just draw diagrams and exchange information in there. Number 15, does your school have any special ties with residency programs? Um, our administrative assistant works very hard to get us in touch with exposure to residency programs as early as our first years. I attended um, a residency fair with over 90 programs registered and it was just easy to tune in and listen to like the upper class and talk to residency programs just to prepare ourselves even if you don't have like any questions as first or second years. And number 16, other information. I would say I really love how our school is a small class size because during lab it's very easy to bond with the professors like you're doing it one-on-one -on -one. and I also like how you can get to know your classmates personally and everyone's always sharing their resources and we have a buddy system. Lower classmen are always paired with the upperclassmen. So if you have a question of a professor or how to study for them, they can always like, give you their feedback and share them, share their notes with you, textbooks, etc. I really like how everything is nearby as well. I pump probably once a month and I still drive to like um, grocery stores or to get food and I drive to like Phoenix every once in a while. I also like how we have multi-specialty clinics on campus as well so you can just walk there if you need something done. First year there were a lot of volunteer opportunities that you could do. There's lots of um, homeless shelters that you can volunteer at. Food banks. I really like living near a big city but not in the big city to avoid traffic. We live about 25 minutes from Phoenix so if you ever want to go downtown. Yeah so if you have any questions you can just feel Feel free to contact me through the DPM journey and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you.